Okay, how to read the conversion table. This is your AP Physics 1 equation sheet, and this is the conversion table that you will have when taking the AP exam and also when taking any exam in this class. So I'm actually going to move the camera down, I think maybe all the way down. Yeah, we can see that better. Okay, I want to explain how to read this. If you're working on conversions, you can add any base unit that you want with this. Teragram, terameter, gigameter, megasecond, kilometer, centigram. You can add any base word with this. These are just prefixes from the metric system. And so if I'm going to go with this first one, teragrams, let's just say teragrams. I would say one teragram is equal to one e twelve gram. Okay? Or I could say one terameter equals one e twelve meters. It's the same thing for any unit if you're using that prefix. Okay? Let's look at mega. I could say one mega second equals one e six seconds. I could say one kilometer equals one e three meters. Okay, moving down the list to the negatives. I could say that one centigram is equal to one e negative two grams. Let me do a couple more and then I'll get to my point. Um, one millimeter is right here. It's equal to one e negative three meters. Okay, one more. One microsecond equals one e negative six seconds. Okay, so what I want you to notice about everything I just wrote is everything that has a prefix has a simple one beside it. Everything that does not have a prefix does not have a simple one beside it. It's got an exponent beside it. This is how you read the table when you're working on your conversions. This is the end of this um, video and you can watch the next video on how to do those conversions if you need help with that.